Hello! In this week's show, we're going to be talking about Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Rush Limbaugh, and Miley Cyrus's ass. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Mad Tea Party. I am your host, the Mad Hatter, and this is my co-host, the March Hare. Hello! So, in the news this week, it seems that Miley Cyrus's ass is out of control. Really? Yes, it was caught twerking Santa Claus. Well, I guess she's on the naughty list this year. Actually, I think she's trying to get off the naughty list. Ah, I suppose that's one way to do it. So far, no comment from Mrs. Claus. Santa better bring Mrs. Claus something extra special this year. <laughs> In other news, Kanye reminded everyone what a self-righteous douche he is by saying that being a rapper is like being a cop or a soldier. That every time he goes on stage, something might happen to him, or someone might not like him. Yep, that's exactly like being a cop. I am sure police officers everywhere are terrified of walking in on a situation where someone might not like them, as opposed to, you know, shooting at them or something. Yes, he was Celebrity Douche of the Week. Justin Bieber takes a close second, though. Why does anyone care about this guy? Can you tell me? Uh, his hair, I think. So as I was saying, Bieber told a stranger straight to her face that she was a beached whale. But it's okay, because early in the week, he said he was only a 19-year-old boy, and I guess that means he should get away with anything he does. Speaking of beach whales, Rush Limbaugh was in the news again. He was evidently blubbering something about the Pope being a Marxist, because he warned against the idolatry of money. Forgive me a bit, but it seems like he's just mad the Pope isn't talking about some same-sex marriage and abortion. And while the screeching walrus was ranting, Pope was giving food to the poor! Well, bless his heart. Maybe you should look at your own party, Rush. The GOP had to give training to their candidates so they wouldn't say the word rape every other sentence or ask how women candidates got permission from their husbands to be out of the house. They even went and made a phony Obamacare website. Which I'm sure was only slightly less useful than the real one. Speaking of, I hear President Obama wants to go to Sports Center after his term is over. I'm sure he will do a fine job making the program inaccessible and totally screwed up. And finally, we lost a great man this week. Nelson Mandela has passed away. A great man, yes. But it turns out that the way his memorial was handled has been a bit of a joke. The guy doing the sign language was a phony. A phony? Yes, apparently he was just making up gestures as he went along. And... CBS played Toto's Africa to tribute the man. Yes, I remember that interview where Mandela said that he hoped to one day be considered great enough to have Toto's 1982 classic played at his memorial. You just made that up. That's what you do now. You make stuff up as you go along. Like the sign language translator did. It got to the point where I thought I saw Polly Shore. And I was like, great, Polly Shore. How horrible is it? When you think you see Polly Shore and you think it will be an improvement. The man deserved better. Yes. Now comes the part where we were going to do a skit. Yes, we were going to perform a skit for you, but it had to be cut. The censor cut the skit because it contained too much violence. And sex. Yes, too much sex and violence. See, in the skit, I was supposed to beat the holy crap out of the hatter with a baseball bat. Very violently. But also sexually. Yes, a violent but sexual beating. With a baseball bat. Then we were going to have sex with each other. But violently. Yes, very sexual violence. But alas, the censor cut the skit. Yep, cut it. And it will never be seen. Yes, apparently. There are these things called standards. And morals. Yes, standards and morals. And we have none of these. But fear not. The censor gave us a skit that she wrote herself. A very moral skit chock full of good morals, family values. And so, without further ado, we will now perform the census skit entitled Rush Limbaugh is an ass-ramming dilho who needs to shut his filthy cock holster. <laughs>
Don't forget to like this video, please subscribe, and check us out on Facebook.